People thought we were mad. Like, who wants to listen to a station that plays Christmas songs constantly all day? It's never going to work. Organization is crazy. It's like this mad roller coaster. It's like, hey, fantastic! Oh, damn! Something has to, something's wrong. We have to fix something. We have to change something. So you have to like a roller coaster. Getting sleep doesn't happen. Right? I was sleep in January. So this is our eleventh year this year. So we started the first year we're on was 20, uh, 2008. People thought we were mad. Like, who wants to listen to a station that plays Christmas songs constantly all day? We said, all right, why not do something? We can raise funds at the same time for charity. So we weren't going to run a marathon. We weren't going to run, you know, up, up a mountain and do cake sales. I can't call it, can't make a cake. So we said, right, like, why don't we use our talent in radio to do a good radio station and then raise some funds at the same time? So every year we have a nominated charity. So, for example, this year is Temple Street uh, Hospital, uh, Children's Hospital. Our premier FM sponsor this year is Coca-Cola, Cadbury and Dunn Stores. So they kind of help fund the station along with some other uh, sponsors all online and offline. So the funds we use then to run the station, which is great, which means 100% of all the donations we raise can go to the charity. So this year we're trying to raise enough funds, over 200,000 euro, which will basically help over 1,000 babies and young children give the gift of life this year. So with the funds we raise this year, we're going to buy incubators and ventilators for Temple Street Children's Hospital. It's kind of grown from a few people in a hotel bedroom to now this kind of all year round premises the Ballsbridge Hotel give us where we actually have a radio station here for use all year round because we stream all year round. And the amazing thing is people don't know this, but like in the middle of June and July, we could have a couple of hundred people listening to Christmas FM online. Every year we get some new presenters come in. We bring in new talent as well on there, which is great. We have a lot of people come up through the ranks now as well, new talent this year. We're always trying to bring in a new Christmas song every year. We have the Christmas FM song contest, the Coca-Cola Christmas FM song contest this year. And that's about finding new talent, new artists, new singers, whether it's a cover song or an original. We try to bring new Irish talent in. Uh, so that's going to be new this year. We might be doing some outside broadcasts. We might turn up anywhere in some town. You never know where we are. Do you think you have written the best Christmas song ever? Well then move over, Mariah Carey, the Coca-Cola Christmas of M song contest is back, baby. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. We're good to go. We have a few songs which are kind of like Marmite songs that people love and some people hate. If we don't play it, we get in trouble. If we do play it, we get in trouble. So the songs like Christmas Shoes, or Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, those are kind of novelty songs that people love or hate. So what we kind of try and do is a happy medium and play them a little bit, but not too often, right? Um, because our listeners want to hear it. Um, but also we're trying to find new Christmas songs, a new song that we can own and champion on, on the air every year. So it's amazing how it's grown from something very small to like kind of almost like a national institution now. Because people tell us, when we come on air, it's almost like we turn on Christmas. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring Christmas to Ireland through music and through radio. So that's what we do, yeah.